All right, we got ourselves a reishi. Yeah. Now here's our Western red varnish conch. Now this is one of my favorite mushrooms in the forest. It is most similar to the reishi mushroom of the Orient. This is in the same family as those aplanatums, but it is definitely the prized, more rare mushroom in this part of the wood. It loves to grow on hemlocks. I am so excited to find these mushrooms. In fact, this is one of my favorite times of year because I get to go out and hunt this. This is like my Easter egg, but it happens in August. We're gonna harvest this, but we wanna make sure that we cut it nicely off the tree because these are gonna come back to the same tree every year. Ganoderma oregonensis. This mushroom in itself is the most similar to the reishi of the Orient, which is the most famous mushroom of all time. Ling Chi, they call it, Ganoderma lucidium. And if we're looking for an analog to that, this might just be the right one for us to start using. It has a lot of those beta-glucans and those immune modulating properties that come in the branch polysaccharides. It's also got a pretty heavy triterpene content, which is some of those antiviral, antifungal compounds, and those sort of hormone building and replenishing and nourishing compounds. Now we're gonna see a lot more of that in the spore pad and in the spores themselves. Those are all spores off the top of the mushroom. What happens is these spore pads shoot out spores and they land back on top of the mushroom. And that's where we're gonna get probably the most potent medicine. Mmm. This outer rim here has this beautiful flavor to it and it tastes almost like, it has that texture of like a, a nice buttery kind of soft steak. And so really amazing macronutrients. And in fact, every time I eat some of this, I get a little bit of that like transcendental sort of uplifted state where I almost feel high, but not like high like uncontrollably, but just nourished in a macro bath of nutrients. And this fresh bit here, like this, that's the bit that we're gonna eat. Hmm. Wow. It's got quite the flavor. That flavor will stick with you for about 10, 15 minutes. Wow. Mm -hmm. As you can see, conchs are wood-like mushrooms. They have a lot of lignans in them and a lot of chitin. These are the same kind of chemicals that are in the exoskeletons of insects, and they hold all of that together. So in order to work with these, we need to cook them down. So what's called a decoction, which is all that like double, double boil and trouble style, boiling up a pot of soup or a broth or something along that line. We're gonna make a broth with these. We might even turn them into a dual extracted tincture by making them into a decoction, a really strong potent decoction, and then adding alcohol in or macerating them in alcohol first and then making a decoction and putting the two together afterwards. Simple and yet really the best way to make the medicine. This mushroom has a lot of relevance in my life. In fact, when I was a young boy, my father wrote a book on Ling Chi, the Oriental Reishi. And it's, you know, was the first mushroom book in the West made on this mushroom, particularly the one from the out east, but it had some relevance to this one here, as well as I have a 15 year old daughter named Reishi. It's been a big part of my life, this mushroom in its unfolding. And I think of it as a mushroom of spiritual potency and I'm really honored to spend time with it. One of my favorite things in the forest. So there are some antiseptic properties to this mushroom. It has been used by native peoples of this part of the world as a herbal band-aid, helping to stop inflammation, cut down on any kind of um, infection, and just work to help heal over a wound. It's shown a lot of promise for hormone-based cancers, so prostate, breast, cervical, uterus-style cancers. Hoping to see mushrooms like this more studied so that we can see if there are cures for those types of things. It has some antiviral properties and a lot of anti-inflammatory properties, which means this might be one of those things that helps save our planet if we get into a major epidemic, some kind of ecological warfare breaks out or some kind of pandemic happens. We want to save old growth forests like this, so we make sure we have the right medicine. All right, so different from our Ganoderma aplanatum, the Ganoderma suja and the Ganoderma oregonensis are annual mushrooms, meaning it produces its entire fruiting body in one season. So you see here we have 
a secondary older one. This is last year's fruiting body, and this is no longer has any medicinal benefits to it. So we wanna get them when they're fresh like this, which means the only time we can really harvest these is in August, possibly September. If it's an early season, maybe the end of July. But really right now, end of August, this is the perfect time to get these because they've grown up to their full maturity and they're not past their prime. As soon as we get into the winter months, the bottom spore pad starts to go brown. Another way to tell if a tree's gonna have these is to look for these old ones on the ground. That has no longer got any medicinal benefit. Same mushroom, very different look. Oh, and still left on there. That is my favorite part. Mm. Thank you, mushroom. We'll be making good medicine with you. Once you get into the flow with fungi like this, you're part of their world and you start to notice them and they start to notice you. So let's keep hunting because I think there's more to be found. In fact, I think I see another tree right over there. Come along. That one's got a lot of spores on it. So we're gonna harvest this one and we're gonna hopefully dust it for spores so we can add them to our supply for the winter months. Thank you, Mushroom Forest. This time we're gonna use our little bit more heavy duty hori hori. Again, you see how life's just growing around it? No problems here. Ooh. We're gonna take these when we get home, we'll slice them into slices, dry them out, and we'll use them for tea in the winter months. Woohoo! This mushroom is one of the most elusive in the West Coast forest, but it also has some of the most potent chemistry. So thanks for joining me on the West Coast Reishi Hunt. Hope you get out and find some yourself. Ciao for now.